during the past few Wild Ocean series episodes, you have been following my underwater marine life encounters on Sodwana Bay Coral Reef, located in South Africa. We have explored quite a few different dive sites full of amazing creatures from the Indian Ocean. This episode you're about to watch is the last venture to these waters, for now. While I tend not to compare one dive site to the other, as each is unique in itself, this one is definitely one of the most amazing places in this area. Hence, that is why I've chosen it as the last one to take you for a trip around. Anton's dive site, situated just at the southern tip of the massive reef complex, has all you can ask for. Its topography resembles some sort of a castle emerging from otherwise flattish reef, guarding the entrance to this beautiful underwater world. The many walls and sandstone towers are also covered with plentiful hard table corals that look like mushrooms attached to reef structure. Another permanent feature of this paradise is a resident school of silver slingers that hover above the reef on a good day creating a massive glittering fish vortex. And they do not have an issue with me swimming right through them, almost brushing them with my camera. Various holes and crevices in this expansive dive site hide some amazing creatures, like this tube anemone that prefers dark and isolated hideouts, where it can grab prey with its mesmerizing but quite deadly stinging tentacles. In certain places you will notice long stick-like wood corals protruding from the reef. If you take a close look, you will find there tiny seaweed gobbies, miniature fish about the length of a nail that live their entire lives on one piece of coral. And together with the coral they bear the burden of constant water movement. Not far from the main reef structure, a soft coral has grown into a decent sized bush. Among its branches lives a young trumpet fish, capable of changing skin color to adapt to the surroundings. In between live coral patches the bottom is covered with reef sand, on which lives probably one of the most challenging fish to film, at least in my experience. A beautiful juvenile rock mover wrasse is generally very shy. Add to it the fact, the way it moves is completely unpredictable, and getting a long steady shot is almost impossible. It holds its glamorous look only when young. Adults are not nearly as flamboyant and move to the deep part of the reef, hardly ever seen after. It is also here that I had an amazing privilege to meet and film a big individual of a zebra shark kind, in some places also called a leopard shark. This lazy moving shark is one of the biggest reef sharks and you can sometimes find it laying still on a patch of sand. It's a docile and shy shark that preys on crustaceans and mollusks. They are rather uncommon in these waters and seeing and being able to capture it on camera 
is a proper success story for me. Last, but not least, and quite fitting for the ending of the final episode of Stories from Sudwana Bay, Anton's dive site is probably the most common place to have one of the best marine creature sightings ever. A cherry on top of all possible dives, a pod of most friendly bottlenose dolphins, leisurely swimming by and eager for interaction. Such an encounter warms your heart, as you can almost feel the connection between us and these smart marine mammals. Who actually recognize you as someone special, visiting their realm. <laughs>